So Stuart Haas on the front row. The other half of that uh, race uh, team with Tony Stewart, Gene Haas. Now, most guys uh, over 60 who own a billion-dollar company would sit back and relax, but that's not this guy. His mind works faster than the machines he builds. I got a tour of Haas Automation in nearby Oxnard from the man himself. What's the connection with Haas Automation and cars? I had a job, uh, I think it was like my junior year, where I went to work for LeGrand Race Cars out in North Hollywood. And I was actually a mechanic for the, one of the first Long Beach Grand Prix out here. So I've kind of always been involved with machining parts and racing cars. We started building machining centers like in the mid 80s and hooked up with Hendrick Motorsports. And the driver at the time was a name we should know, right? Wasn't Jeff Gordon. There you go. <laughs> Brand new driver. From what I heard, he was all over the track, but he finished. <laughs> <laughs> so Gene, when did the light go on where you said, I, I want to own a, a NASCAR Cup team? Well, after sponsoring uh, Jeff Gordon for about five years, we sat down with Rick and told him we'd like to start our own team. And he just kind of looked at me and goes, well, you're crazy if you want to start a racing team. <laughs> But he said, if you want to start a racing team, I will help you lose as little money as possible. <laughs> there were some lean years, though, right? How did you handle that lack of success? I think I talked to Chad Canales, and I guess, oh, what's the secret to, you know, making cars go fast? It's the driver. I said, well, well, besides that, what else would help me go faster? The driver. Oh. And after he told me about five times it's the driver, I finally caught on to it right, that yeah. it's the driver. And at Tony Stewart, you knew you had a proven winner, right. uh, a guy who could drive, but also for him, the benefit, hey, I get to be part of an ownership. Yeah, Tony Stewart brought credibility to our operation, and, and that's when we became partners. Because basically, you know, race shops aren't really worth much unless you win. So, you know, Tony Stewart, it was like, okay, he wants half the race shop. I'm going to put in the, the, the material side. He's going to bring in the credibility. We put those two pieces together, and that's how Stewart Haas Racing was born. And in terms of the putting this race team together, Kurt Busch, it was important for you. You, you stood behind him without passing any judgment. You know, I think it's, it, it resolved itself. No more questions. We know what we're going to do. We know where the future is, and I, I'm happy with that. Danica Patrick, uh, what are the chances with her contract up that she'll be back with Stuart Haas? I think it's just a matter of trying to balance what Danica wants and what we want. With Kevin Harvick, what said to you that this guy can be a champ when he came over, especially in his first year, and maybe he can repeat? Well, I think you have to go back to Tony Stewart. Uh, uh, Kevin Harvick and Tony uh, know each other. We met with uh, Kevin, and uh, there was some chemistry there. And to be honest with you, no one expected what was going to happen. I don't even think Kevin expected it. <laughs> if we're not first place, then we'll fix things. It's very easy in racing to know whether you're doing good or bad. Every weekend it tells you that.